so who could be knocking on my door, Minxlings? Welcome to a new episode of the Cat Lady. Let's go and find out. I suspect it is pest control, and I suspect our next pest control person is going to be the parasite. And he's going to try and murder us, but obviously we can't be murdered. And then we're going to get brutal revenge on him by shoving a pest control thing up his ass. That's my prediction. What do you think? I think so. Oh, it's a girl, actually. Uh, oh, okay. Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uh, do I know you? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had worked real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. Uh... So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I like you, Mitzi. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but... I had other reasons for it, too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Uh... Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. Aha! Uh -huh. I... They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? She needs money. I'm you very tidy. Him. I don't make much noise and... I promise not to spend you long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry. But I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. Take her in. Take her in. Go on. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Come on, Susan. Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great. Can I come in? <laughs> She's very, uh... She better not be a parasite. I like her. Uh... This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I've been. I slept at the train station oh, okay. last night. I was close. There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why this is not weird. go to a hotel then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos and rats. This is odd. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats away. Uh, Why do you want this room so much? Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit mouldy. It is total this shit. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city centre, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. Aww. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just <laughs> people. I don't give answer. a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? I really need to shower. Uh, how did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. 
You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. I don't believe her. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. Hmm. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. I suspect she is too. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. Ah, okay. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. That's disturbing as shit. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and knocked the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. I had a hunchback. A hunch. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? <laughs> slit your throat? Why are you always so suspicious of people? Pick, pick the lock on my front door. Do such a thing. I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Aww. Uh, I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. I give... Just take her fucking money, for God's me. sake. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Off we go. So, I'm guessing she probably isn't one of the things. I don't know. She seems like a genuinely, possibly nice person. There you go. This room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and somewhere to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Uh Are you part of that emo subculture? <laughs> You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? Yes, you do. I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Uh, you did so kill one earlier. Yeah? face, an eye patch, rough stubble, those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. <laughs> just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Uh, are you part of that emo subculture? Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please, don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. Well said, well said. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay, clearly a sensitive subject for you. Music always you know, is. people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called but emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. Of course! That's because black is the best colour. <laughs> Period. Mitzi, I like you. Is that her name? Mitzi? Mitsu? I can't remember. Uh, you mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story though. 
I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? I want it by the place. Yeah, all right. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person, but it's a friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so I don't know what he looks like. This is weird. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Hmm. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. Interesting. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. And kill him. He said something really bad. Something horrible. He's one of the parasites. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know. Just talk. Are you sure? Stab him in the island yep. screwdriver. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Can I kill him? Is there anyone I can contact for references? Is there anyone I can contact for references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so... Not really. Yeah, I always think that myself. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my poster up there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that would be okay. You know, you've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this, but I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Um, your uh, long story won't bore you with this personal crap. Long story won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha! Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. I agree. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll Aww. bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Creepy teddy bear eyeing us up. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? Uh... This is weird as shit. So death's here as well. What happened? Are you alright? So she's death? Go away! You have to go away right now! But... Why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? What the fuck is going on? Uh, she's one of them. You're not safe here. You should leave now. Uh, I knew you were one of them. I knew it. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Calm down, just Susan. Take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. This is fucking weird. Then. Maybe. Oh, no. 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 Fuck! You're not safe here. You should leave now. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. What the fuck? You me out now. Ah! Uh, no, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. So she is one? I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... You're going to die. You're going to die. I know. What? Excuse me? Yeah. 
I know. How did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Death is right behind us. Some kind of supernatural mind treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What the fuck? What do you mean? I. I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch if you like. Oh, the fact I saw death behind you? A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Cancer? Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Yeah, I thought so. That's depressing as shit as well. Okay, so that's why Death was there. She isn't one of them. This is why Death was there. I guess we're going to let her stay. I'm not sure. Who's this dishbag? Well, he is clearly the other... Uh, our next parasite. He's the pest control guy who's clearly murdering people. I'm not controlling this, by the way. I have no idea what's going on. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. What? What? What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream. Is that us? Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. This is fucked. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> that is us. Well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. How fucked is this going to be? What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, what the fuck? How are we here? I don't know what's happened. Touch me and I kill you, you sick bastard. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. I'm not quite sure what's happened. I fucking mean it. You have no idea who I am. <laughs> You're just a crazy cat lady. That's all you are. Soon, I'll be the crazy cat lady who blew your brains out all over these fucking walls, pal. What's happened? So laugh while you can. It's not long now. What's going on in there? What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? What the fuck? Who is this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Because if you did, I swear to God. It's a fucking Silent Hill nurse. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. What's going on? This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is just fucked. What the hell? I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. What's going on? They're gonna kill me. They're obviously like gonna fucking eat me or something. Like, literally. Oh, shit. You nasty little whore. Trying uh. to seduce my husband in my own home. How bloody rude. This is fucked. Uh, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Shut up, you stupid bitch. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. Oh, shit. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. 
It's just gonna fall breach on me. I won't be attracted to you anymore. Oh my god. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Oh my god. This is fucked. Oh my god. <laughs> We're clearly dreaming. We must be dreaming. We must be dreaming. We must be. This can't be real. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. Oh my god. What the fuck? Well, that's two parasites. Two more parasites, clearly. And we just got killed in a dream or something. I don't know. I'm hoping it's a dream. Please be a dream. What the hell is going on? Oh, I'm playing the cat. Okay, guys, um... One second, please. Guys, that appears to actually be the right order. I didn't miss anything. I just had to go and check, because I'm sure I missed a cutscene, but I didn't. So, uh... Next time we're playing as a cat. Um... See you in the next video, guys. If you enjoyed it, comment, favorite, like, subscribe. All that wonderful stuff. And I'll see you guys really fucking soon with more of the cat lady. We have some parasites to clean up. Bye for fucking now.